Hi guys and welcome to point of sale system develop in Excel using VBA. Just before I start, I would like to point out that this video is in the memory of a colleague of mine, Captain Alan Aziz Brimer. He used to be my junior in London School of Flying, known as Kabe. Kabe is no model. So this video is just in memory of him. Okay guys, now let's start. This is a point of sale. This point of sale was actually at the request of one of my viewers out there. And uh, this is what I've just put together for him. So let me just show you guys how it works. I'm going to reset. There we go. And there we can select the item that we want. Okay, and you can also see the barcode for each of the items that we're selecting. Okay there we go let's select cash okay and there's the cost of what the item that we've selected and i'm going to go for since it's cash let's enter whatever amount in there 40 pounds 20 that's fine so click on pay there we go and that's it that's my change okay and maybe if you have a next customer or if you want to print the receipt yeah, you can go ahead and print the receipt. All right, now I'm going to reset. Let's go for more customer. And there we go, guys. Click on maybe direct debit. There we go. And click on pay. There. Okay. Since it's direct debit, nothing will happen. No change and so on. So what I'm going to do now, guys, is I'm going to take you guys straight into excel development environment and we put one of these very brilliant and lovely tutorial together now let's go into excel and welcome back to excel development environment okay i'm going to start by clicking on the developer menu here however if you don't have your developer menu up here all you need to do is to go to file and then click on options then select customize ribbon and you should be able to see your developer icon there all you just need to do is make sure it's checked okay and then click on ok there now select your developer menu select visual basic or you can always press alt f11 there we go now go straight to insert select user form that is your form now i'm going to define the size of my form i'm going to make that about let's set it for about 600 and come right down here i'm going to make the width about let's go for something like 1000 1041 there all done now I will add some buttons, so make sure you select your form, click on the toolbar if you don't, if you can't see this, and then select the button, so that's my button there, I think I'm going to make the width of that button approximately, okay, 120, that's fine, that's fine, and what about the width, let's go for, oh, that's fine, 78, okay, that's not too bad. All right, let's increase the font size. The font, let's see what's font this logo. I'm gonna make it about 10 bold, and that is fine. And in here, I'm gonna enter the following price. Let's go for one as a pound sign, three pound ATP. There we go. Now I'm going to come down here. You see where we have picture. Click on that, and I will select the picture that I have already here. And let, let me go for the cake, and that is it. There, that's all. So I'm going to repeat the same thing for the next one. I might as well copy this. Hold on to your control, click and drag. I have two. Let's click and drag. I need two more here. There we go. Then I'm going to click and drag again and just bring it down. 
there. Okay. I'm going to do one thing. Let's just select it all. I'm going to kind of like increase the size to about 130. The height to 130. That is it there. Press enter. That is fine. Okay. That's not too bad. You can drag this one down a little bit if you want. Okay. Select the next one. And let's go straight to the yeah to the picture there and the picture I'm gonna go for I'm gonna go for the coffee looking picture and let's change the price of that to about 399 that might be too much though but it's, it's all right now the next one repeat exactly the same thing for the next one and I'm going to change that to yeah ice cream yeah and one other thing let's let's take care of this one first and this one is going to be this lovely looking cake there and here let's go for drink yeah that's fine maybe coffee here um yeah okay that's that's okay and now i'm going to just give them a name i'll call the c and they it's called a cupcake something like that and this is going to be I think cappuccino and, the and so on let me just speed that up now you guys know how to add the images and there guys is already now with their own names or with their own variable names that's fine so I'm going to save it before I go any further let's save it on us okay I'm going to save it as except macro enable okay so let's just call it let's go for Excel POS click on save there all right now that that is done let's do let's do one thing right up here i'm going to just enter the title i'm going to call that point of sale and make the size something readable so make it about 24 There we go, bold underline there. So that'll be my title there. Move that up. Okay. We need a list box. It's one list box here. And I'm gonna copy that list box and another one here these two list box I'm gonna change their appearance let's come in here right here where we have special effect I'm gonna make that maybe flat no not flat I think I think it's flat let's select and see yeah I'm right that's flat and let's go back there right for the next one flat that is good okay drag it down a little bit there now the next thing that I want to do now is I'm gonna add title for them as well one here and one here and this one is going to be item no that should be that should be the price so let's go the price the price is going to be in pounds all right that's fine and this one is going to be the item okay maybe we should even add the next items all right, so let's select both of them and just increase this font size a little bit. Font, make that bold. Bold, maybe about 12. 
okay that's fine looking good already okay guys that's fine so i'm going to change the background color of these two list box let's come into the background there just want you to take the form of this form background right there instead of white i'm going to change it to bottom face there we go that is it right there bottom face now let's add some buttons so come up here just grab a button we'll make that about maybe 66 by 72 yeah that's fine okay and increase the font size to maybe 24 bold yeah that is fine get rid of content in it that's going to be seven okay these buttons will just be used to select or to enter the price so let's hold on to control control and click and copy copy that again there we go we need more of those and maybe four more yeah there we go that's fine so this is going to be eight nine and so on okay so that is that i'm going to stick i'm going to copy this one right here let's copy that now change the size to about let's go for 108 and I'm going to change the text content I need to let's make that pay right now we need a reset button just copy this bring it here and let's see okay let's increase this that much all right that is done so we change the text content in there to reset no prints we need a print button okay the one below will be resets so we'll copy and we'll change this one to reset that becomes reset there we go okay all done so let's grab um frame yeah paste that in here and this very frame i'm going to change the width to 414 and the height to be 130 okay 138 all right get rid of the text content in it there we go all right i might as well just copy it though hold on to control click and drag yeah okay we'll carry out some adjustment to that later on okay let's move it a little bit more one more okay now I need a combo box here and labels one label here another label here and another one that needs this and I need two labels here good these two labels let's carry out some Brief changes instead of flat. I'm going to make it. Yeah, that's not too bad. Okay, let's delete the text content on there. Right, and this one, let's change this to type of payment. Or payment type. And this is going to become the cost. 
and I will call this one change. Okay then. Now what is? Okay, I'm going to copy all of these. Let's copy one, two. Yeah, just copy them all. Hold on to, to control, click and drag, and just dump them in here. There we go. All right, so that's cool. And let's move this in and copy this. Right, this is going to be my subtotal. This will be the tax, and here we have total. Okay, let's do one thing first increase the font size. Let's do it again. Make that 24. Bold 24. There. Repeat the same thing for this. Bold 24. There we go. Okay. Looking good. what is left for us to do now I'm gonna copy this I'm gonna be using that for my barcode make three of those one here and one more here there and right here I'm gonna create one that I'll just call Captain Alan Captain Alan was a colleague of mine in London School of Flying who passed away just recently. Rest in peace, Alan. So in there, I'm going to change that to Captain Alan Aziz Brimer. There we go. Okay looking good All right. before I go any further what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you guys into this website where I'm going to download the barcode okay let's come straight to this website this is the website guys okay that's the URL I'm going to include the URL in my description area so that is the URL guys I will include in my description area you can download the file here which I've already downloaded and that is it there all you just need to do is double click on it and click on install there and that's all there is to that okay so I'm going to minimize that so these very ones I'm going to select them and come in straight to fonts and change their fonts to CC as the barcode there. There we go. There. So the three labels here, the font has now been changed to barcode. Right, that's it. So I'm going to run it. Let's just run it and see how the interface looks like for now. All we just need to do is just to tidy things up. All right there, guys. This is how it's looking now. Okay. But here, it looks a bit plain. Though I do have a list box in there. Maybe I should just cut this list, list box off for now. Cut. And let's come right here. Grab the frame. Now paste them inside the frame. There. Now get rid of the name of that frame. Delete. Okay, and just paste this right in there. There we go. Okay, guys, I think I think I'm gonna set it for this. So that is fine. 
So all I need to now do is to start work with the coding. So I'm going to exit out. And first of all, let's do the following. What I'm going to do is I'm going to let's say option explicit that is for the variables that I intend to declare now the very first variable that I will declare is going to be I will just call that item item cost and then I have some another variable I'm gonna have I tax well, let's say change all of those variables will be declared as double okay we need a comma here now the next set of variable is going to be for my barcode I'm going to call one T code as a T code comma and the other one is going to be known as barcode yeah let's say barcode yeah that's it done okay I'm now going to create some function this function will be used to add up whatever cost of product I have on the list box so now let's start by saying let's create a function up here function and I'll call that cost function cost enter parenthesis there and as you can see once you create a function you end up with end function automatically so I'm going to first of all say sum equals zero if you don't say sum equals zero the sum will keep adding on so I want to try and avoid that as me talking from or speaking from experience and I'm, I'm going to say for I remember the I that I declared right up here maybe we should even make it lowercase yeah let's change it to a lowercase I that's fine lowercase and lowercase here for I equals zero to L that is my list box display dot list so that should actually be dot yeah that's a list count there we go minus one I'm going to say step one okay then now sum equals sum plus by value and what am I talking about so it's going to be list display dot whatever I have on the list then enter I there and close that bracket now I'm just going to come down here and I'm going to round up I. Okay, so that is that taken care of. Now, right underneath here, I have tax as well. I'm going to make the tax rate about maybe 2.5. Come right down here. Tax is going to be 2.5. 2 that is my tax rate. There. Now, and there, I might as well add all my data in there. LBL cost dot caption. Okay, let's see. I should have something that says that equals. Let's convert that to pounds. Equals whatever I have inside. Let's say sum, comma. And let's convert that to power sign enter ash comma ash ash zero dot zero zero that will give me two decimal place there 
now let's see I think I should have this let's check that here that should be this no oh I call it subtotal okay let's grab all the names then this is called subtotal copy that come back in here go back inside my code there we go else I would have end up with an error the next one is going to be for my tax so let's just copy all of this and change that around for the tax and one for total as well get rid of this for total and this is going to be for tax there okay let's now work out the tax that we end up paying so it's going to be sum multiply by tax and we divide that by 100 okay there divide that by 100 I'm going to need another bracket here there we go how many do I have here one two and three and there I think that's the tax taken care of there we go guys now I want to then add my tax to this right here and I will then add a sum I might as well just copy everything that I have in here copy and paste that right underneath here there so this is the tax we then need to add add a sum close that and close it right here as well so what's happening is whatever we have in the tax is then added up to the total which is the subtotal there and that's all the risk to that so that's taken care of so let's check and make sure these codes are right for the calculations okay now one more thing my barcodes so I'm going to say I think I call that T code that is equals I want you to get it formatted though format that is for the total so I'm going to grab all of these and get rid of the pound sign T code that's total code get rid of the pound sign oh no I need a format format copy that paste that here there get rid of the pound sign all right that is taken care of yeah now i will also need lbl total code total c code dot caption equals c code there so this will give us the barcode for the total yeah, that's fine now that's taken care of if I don't do it this way I would end up having to write the same lines of codes on every single button okay let's do let's put another function together for my for the price and to display some item and the barcode of that very item so i'm going to call that right underneath here i will call it function c price there we go there now we need almost the same thing here then we we'll copy all of this And paste that in here and right underneath here comes the changes I think the change this is to work on the change yeah that's fine change is equals to LBL cash dot caption And we subtract that from we subtract that from total sum this very one here without 
I'm just going to grab all of these up to here, copy and subtract. So with that, I should be able to get the change. So if your customer gave you twenty pounds for the purchase of fifteen pounds forty, you should get the change right here. All right. So what else do we need to do? We now need to assign this into LBL change. LBL change dot caption equals change. That's one down. Now the next one let's enter the barcode for the product itself so i'm going to say barcode equals let's format we need to format whatever we have inside the change itself equals change comma and let's just grab all of this and paste it in here right and get rid of the pound sign there that will be for the backup for the change yes that is correct okay now backcode here is going to be lbl code equals backcode so let's grab all of this so lbl change code code I represent it with CO equals barcode there okay those are the two functions I intend to use one and two there okay this deals mostly with the code with the change okay if you are given if the customer is using cash then you do need this and this let's deal with the calculation of the item selected all right so that's fine now let's go straight to the buttons and start calling those function double click on the very first one here and right in here i'm going to enter the following let's say item cost equals zero and item cost equals item cost plus whatever the price that I intend to okay let's just say item cost increment by three pounds eighty now let's say LB L ST display dot add item and the item that I'm adding is going to be item course there so that add the price in there so now what else do we need to do we need to display the item itself so let's say L S T item dot add now what are we adding what is this product that I have in there I don't know so I'm just going to first of all let's make up something for it first I'm going to call it maybe cappuccino no it's not a cappuccino though I think it's a cake I'm going to call it bread cake bread cake there close that all right then we also need to what about this scanner lbl scan dot caption don't i have a scan let's see i should have a scan one called scan come down here and see total item code okay this is going to be for the product it's uh, I call it LBL item okay let's come in here and 
this now this kind of this right here yep paste that there dot caption and that is going to be equals to let's say bread let's copy, copy all of those and dump it right here now let's call the function itself call cost the cost is the function that i declare right over there I call the cost this very one all right so have a good look at that so i'm just going to run this if it works as expected all i then need to do is copy and paste run so click there we go look at that and look at my barcode and it's actually adding up the the subtotal tax and total that is nice okay that's good see how easy that is and one other thing we need to increase this font so exit out and just first of all let me increase this font we we'll make the font size about let's go for maybe something maybe 14 yeah 14 why not 14 bold there we go so that should take care of that okay then now let's double click on this the next button here all i don't need to do is copy paste and change the price to 3.99 and that will be maybe cappuccino yeah yeah cappuccino and this is cappuccino as well there now copy it to the next one the next one is something to do with cream paste that in there i'll just enter cream in there and cream here as well and how much would that be so i'm just going to make that about Maybe two pounds on two ninety five two nine five. Okay, next is going to be that's cake paste. Let's change that to cake. There, and make that maybe one pound fifty. 155. There we go. Next. Drinks. Now. Paste. And these are just canned drinks. Or fizzy drinks, whatever you want to call it. There we go. And here is 0 0.78. And that is it. Rings here. Rings. Can rings here. Okay. Copy. Next one. That's going to be tea. Paste that in there. We call that iced tea or whatever. Ice tea. And how much was it? 99p. 90p, I mean there we go and this is iced tea right next that is cream cake cream, no cream cake is how much two pound plus It's about 2.5. And we have in here cream cake as well. Paste. Almost there now. 
Now the next one is this. What is that? So I'm going to call that maybe chocolate drink or whatever. Copy that, paste that in here. Alright, so we just call that one pound ninety eight. Next. Okay, I reckon you guys get the whole idea now. So we're just gonna speed up the others and that's it. We only have about three more left. Okay, that is it. All done. Now let's take care of the lines of code for the buttons. The buttons are not calculator, they just uh, for you to be able to enter cost in there. Should in case if your customer give you cash and you want to give them change back. But first thing first, let's take care of this. You see this this combo box. I'm gonna double click on the form and in there I'm gonna select form initialize. Where is the form again? Let's do that again. Double click on form. Oh, that's it right here. We need form initialize. There we go. And right there, I'm going to enter that dot add item. And the very first item that is going to be cash. If you are paid cash. And I'm just going to copy it and change that in case if you have something like direct debit. So paste that direct debit and Visa card, MasterCard. So in here, let's enter direct debit. And we we'll change this to Visa card. And finally, this will be MasterCard all done so if i run it now this is what you guys will see so i can enter whatever item i want and look at it as i click is automatically added and in here i can select method of payment okay or type of payment all right that is fine let's take care of this ones if i have change or if I don't have any of those and I only have cash, I want to be able to click on any of these buttons and enter whatever amount I have in there. So let's come back in here, double click on that very button. Number seven, double click on, oh, let's see what's the name of this. It's called cash, LBL cash. Let's enter a value in here, make that zero. And is it aligned, let's see, no, let's align it to the right align to the right there we go now double click on this this is cash though yeah grab that very name so I don't forget now double click on number seven so right there number seven I'm gonna use an if statement if cash dot caption equals zero then do as follows grab all of this paste it there cap the caption equals seven else equals this all right so that means if you keep clicking and you should keep adding seven so and if there so that takes care of the of the nothing so I'm just going to copy that. Come right down here. Double click on it. And right here I'm just going to paste that for it. Change the value to it. Now let's go for 9. There. That becomes 9. Number number four. That is four. Five. 
6 double click on 6 enter 6 there and I'm going to speed that up now double click on 1 paste and just change that to 1 there speed that up and that's it I've taken care of 3 as well so all done for the buttons apart from the 0 I purposely leave that out so that you guys see that it's going to be zero here and zero here as well. There. Okay. Now let's run it and make sure that works. We enter. Yeah, that's fine. Now the decimal point, we need to take care of that. So that is fine. Okay. Exit out. And for the decimal, double click on the decimal. And what I'm going to do is if in string lvl cash dot caption and that is there's a comma contains dot that and let's say is equals zero then no 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 then now we Let's grab this LBL cache equals LBL cache plus the decimal point and end if and that's all there is to that that is taken care of that is for that is for the dot or whatever you want to call it the decimal point okay now let's double click on the click the clear now for the clear just gonna paste that and enter the value we change to zero and there that's it if I run it now enter whatever I want to enter in there clear there we go now let's enter some value dot clear okay let's take care of payment and these three buttons then we can call it the end of the whole project now let's come into payment double click on payments so with the payment i'm going to let's say if cbo payments dot text if that is equals cash Then we want the following call the function price. There we go. So LBL total itself total dot back color. Just want to just that up a bit. Let's say equals RGB and give that one seven six comma two two four comma and two three zero so that's we just highlight showing you that payment has been made so else if else if if it's empty let's grab all of this If it is empty, then we want the following. Then we want you to change to ribbon as the official color. Come right in here. The official color is light gray. That is 240 by 240 by 240. There we go. There. Okay. Else. We want the color to change to this okay grab this so if it's empty the color remain gray but if any of the method of payment is selected then it changes to sky blue and if there we go all right let, let's try it out run and there we go and you decide to go for cash 
and that means um, you have 15 pounds 10p okay calculate all right let's change this we need to change this to two decimal place okay that's fine it's working okay exit out okay let's take care of the excess figure numbers there double click on that i think it has to do with the yeah the function here this very function that i should have formatted that so let's go for right here and i'm just gonna enter format open up a bracket and that is going to be comma pound sign and i need hash comma double hash 0 0.00 close that there that should take care of the format this should be comma there all right that should take care of that very label so let's run it and see again all right so let's see let's keep going keep going there we go right now come down here cash and how much is that 30 and let's go for payment yeah that's fine that takes care of that so let's take care of one and two okay let's double click on this and right there I'm just going to enter application application dots dialog no dialog let's see X L print where is it X L print okay if I grab it, the dialog I just change that to print now grab this and just change this to print that's L dialog print close that dot show yeah, that is care of the print so we'll run it add some value in there now direct debit pay that is it so there's no change because it's direct debit that is why this one is empty so let's print out our details there we go that's for the receipt now cancel I don't have print out my system okay now let's take care of reset and we can call it the end of this beautiful tutorial and right here double click on reset for the reset I'm going to do as follows I'm gonna grab this paste it right up here dot text clear that equals clear there and LBL display we're gonna clear that as well grab this paste that there dot it clear that should be clear there now we have item LBL item paste dot clear there then we have okay let's grab this and so on guys equals clear and let's see what it's gonna remember here total clear the total as well copy come right down paste dot caption equals lbl tax dot caption there lbl sub total there and what is lbl cash lbl change and lbl 
LBL total is that in there that to be total barcode and change as well I have one of those copy paste it right underneath here that will be for barcode as well and LBL total itself I need to change LBL total back color to the default color dot back color I'm gonna make that RGB 240 comma 240 comma 240 close that there I think I am done I think I am done guys oh wait a minute LBL cash yes that should be zero there we go now run and let's see how that's gonna work okay decision time cash and we have 25 pounds 55 cents there reset there we go guys look at that that is brilliant and guys with that i'm going to call it the end of this very very lovely tutorial i'm very happy with it and to my viewer out there who put in a request for this i believe i have accomplished your suggestion or meet up with what you suggested that is it guys so i'm gonna call it the end of this tutorial and merry christmas bye for now